of the Eagles trying to go 3-0 and since Donovan was benched. Two career games against the Browns. Mack five over 750 yards and eight touchdowns. Eagles opening drive, third and three. How at a play when you see him in the street. McNabb to Kevin Curtis. Fourth career 20 touchdown pass season for Donovan. Steve, use the ESPN axis and school us what happened here. My pleasure. Look at his shoulders. Straight downfield. Look at his head. Straight downfield. Look at his feet. Everything's in line. Nothing he's giving away to where he's going to throw the football right now. The whole defense has no idea where he knows he's going to end up throwing the ball. Now watch his throw just over the outside shoulder of the defender. And the and perfect. That is a pro quarterback right there. On the drive, McNabb, four for four, 43 yards. Eagles up seven zip. Second quarter, both teams experimenting with unique formations. The Browns line up Josh Cribbs, at quarterback, in what they call this the flash package. Emmett, what did you call it? Well, I call it. It's a flash and fizzle. It's a fizzle package. Grizzle, grizzle, dizzle. Cribs took the snap, and uh, basically he could not make it to the crib. Stopped by Brian Dawkins. Eagles to Sean Jackson lines up. Wildcat formation takes a snap. Intercepted by Sean Jones. And it fizzle again. That's but another. He, they fizzle. call that the lollipop. Then lollipop it. Throw it up there. Speaking of lollipop and Ken Dorsey's pass. Hater in the house. Asante Samuel. Pick takes it to the house. Asante's fourth interception this year, fourth career interception return for a touchdown. Emmett, how did it go down? Well, if you watch closely, you will see Ken Dorsey get a little pressure right there from the from the defensive players. Asante Samuel jumped right onto the slant route, picks it off, and runs it back to the house and drops the ball. How do you like do that? Wall. He and dropped it how just do before you do he that? went to the end zone. Now the referee called touchdown. But what? Wait a second. An eagle dropping the ball before he crosses the goal line? Flash. We've seen this before. Week two, Monday Night Football. Deshaun Jackson just, you know, he let it go showboating. Rookie move, rookie move, rookie move. <laughs> it's a rookie dance. It's, there's nothing it's good about that. Bad. that. And uh, Deshaun Jackson, when we go back to this night, he and Asante Samuel are like, yeah, I did it. Yeah, yeah. I know I did it too. <laughs> yeah, but you're a rookie. You're supposed to. Nine seconds left in the half. Eagle second and goal with the one. McNabb pass. Picked off, great interception by Brandon McDonald, and here, here we, we oh no! no! Oh, oh. McDonald, 98-yard return, no touchdown. In the history of the NFL regular season, it's the longest interception return ever that did not score a touchdown. 98 yards, penalty on the Eagles, that's declined. The half ends, great pick though by McDonald. Fourth quarter, Browns down 23 to three, trying to come back. Dorsey finds Stuart Bradley. The, the problem is, though, oops, yeah. he doesn't spell it right. Stu yeah, Stuart, yeah, the problem, he plays for the Eagles and he spells his name S-T-E-W. needs to be a U-A-R-T. Steve, why? Well, he gets his arm hurt first. He was under pressure all day long. The Eagles did a nice job of taking Ken Dorsey and making him not be confident in the pocket. Speaking of confident in the pocket, though, Brian McNabb, you know, the Wyverns at Kiowa call Donovan sick, nasty, or sig nasty. Touchdown to Greg Lewis. McNabb, 26 of 35, 290 yards, two touchdowns. Eagles now 8-5, and, of course, that won the tie to the Cincinnati Bengals.